PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete and Pete's Tools, how are you all doing today? Hope you're all doing well, like me, on top of the world as usual, yeah! Hey, anyway guys, if you watch any of my videos, you know that I'm quite fond of these cheap generic plasma torches, especially the PT31, but I've started using that bigger, like 80 100 amp torch lately, and I just wanted to show you guys how that works, and that, how cheap it is as well. I mean, this torch here is rated between 30 and 50 amps, but you can get one rated between like 50 and 100 amps for about 40 bucks with a lead and everything. So uh, I've been using that lately. I'll show you how it cuts. We'll compare it with this one. It just might give you guys a little bit of choice if you're choosing which torch to replace your existing one with. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day, Pete at PeachTools.com. And let's get into it, guys. So, guys, if you watched any of my previous videos, you know I like this torch. Not because it's better than anything else, because it's cheap. And hell, I like cheap stuff. Who doesn't like cheap stuff? And it's really, really cheap to run. But like I said, lately I've been using a P80 torch. Anyway guys, I'll do a quick cut with this and I'll show you and then I'll show you the bigger torch on the same machine. That's the guys, PC31, building a little torch. See what I mean guys? It's a really good cut, cheap little torch, you can replace them for virtually nothing and the consumables of these are really really cheap, that's what I like. Like you can get a tip and an electrode for one of these for about 50 cents, so that's about 25 cents each. Because that's why I like them, because they're cheap to replace and they basically do what they say they're going to do on the box. But the disadvantage of these really cheap P31 torches is you don't get any different sizes in your cutting tips, meaning that you just get a straight cut and that's it basically. Whereas the other more expensive torches, you get different orifice sizes. Orifice, that's a big word, isn't it? That's a word for hole, isn't it, Pete? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you get different size holes in the tips, and it allows you to cut deeper or shallower or whatever. But mind you, you've got to have the power to go with that, of course. So I've been using the P80 torch lately, guys. It's not too bad, actually. You get different size orifices. Hey, there's that big word again, orifice. <laughs> the smaller the hole, the narrower the cut. The wider the hole, the wider the cut, obviously. But you get a little bit more choice with these. And the tips for these are only about a dollar a set. So they're about 50 cents for a tip and 50 cents for an electrode. Now the electrode on these, it doesn't matter what size tip you're running, they're all exactly the same. So you can use any electrode on any different size tip. But the tips here, this is a 1.1 millimeter, so that's the hole in the top of the tip. And they go 1.3, 1.5 to 1.7. So depending how much power you're running through your machine is what size tip and how thick you want to cut. But I use 1.1 because I'm only running it on 40 amps. So I'm really, really on the bottom end of the amperage. But uh, they're a really, really good torch. And like I say, these are not much more expensive than the PT31 consumables. But what I find is these last a lot longer as well. And also the torches just feel nicer in your hands. Maybe it's just the fact that I got used to using a bigger torch. And of course, guys, these torches also come on pilot arc. So that's also another bonus. Anyway, guys, we'll do the same cut with this nice torch. See that guys, that cuts pretty well, but I don't know if you noticed it, I don't know if you can see it on the video. The cut was a little bit wider as we're going down, that's what I'm saying, that's what the measurements are on the cutting tips. Like you go from 1.1 to about 1.8, so it just depends how wide you want your cut and how deep you want it. But once again, you don't have much of choice with that, with running it on a 40, 50 amp machine, because you just don't have the power to, to drive it through. But just cutting the normal thickness stuff that I cut, this is ideal. So you wouldn't think these torches were the same price, but they are, they're a couple of dollars different. I mean, you can buy this PT31 for about 40 bucks, and you can buy the P80 for about 40 bucks as well, both with three meter leads. So if you had a choice, maybe you might be better with the bigger ones. Just depends what you're cutting and how much power you're running through your machine. If you're running more than 50 amps, you better go to this one. So guys, you're saying, holy moly, was that it, Pete? That's short and sweet for you. <laughs> 
I was just using this in the shed the other day and I thought, I wonder if you guys on YouTube know that you can use the bigger torch on your smaller machines and it doesn't cost you that much more to run it. Just gives you a little bit more options if you're using higher power, that's all. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, come say hi Pete at PeachTools.com and we'll see you next time. Bye. And don't forget guys, like and subscribe to Peach Tools. Yeah! PeachTools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.